We celebrate the ANY staff, all of our volunteers and our partners for their commitment to this work. And of course, we celebrate the incredible first generation kick tonight off by sharing just a couple of things about our fellows. And the first is that yes, our fellows are some of the most ambitious and talented students you will ever meet, but their drive goes far beyond their own success. This past year, 98% of our fellows told us that they took what they learned at ANY and they shared it with someone else. They said, I helped my father find a new job. I helped my mother create her first LinkedIn profile and I helped my siblings and cousins and friends and friends' friends navigate college, get internships, and get jobs. So even as they work with their ANY mentor coaches, our fellows are mentors and they are coaches to so many people around them. And the second thing I wanna share about our fellows is I truly believe that they're at the center of reimagining work. Like many of you, you've probably been reading a lot about the future of work, and when I do that, I keep thinking about my two godsons, new baby godsons, Forrest and Orion. They were both born during the pandemic. So, you know, shout out to all the pandemic babies, pandemic parents, and families. Uh, so they're both one year old. And I keep thinking, what will the world of higher ed and work look like for them in 20 years? And, you know, I think the possibilities are really exciting. A sense of more belonging, more community engagement, the type of flexibility that breeds inclusion. But I also think there are some pretty significant challenges, gaps in who is earning degrees, unequal effects of automation and remote work, and huge numbers of women who have left the workforce. You know, Eleanor Roosevelt said that the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I'll say it again, I feel like it was, it was made for all of us in this room. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So in other words, my godsons will live in whatever world we all believe in enough to build. And I think first generation college students are so key to that because they are by definition trailblazers. And so I think they see possibilities that many others may not. Our fellow Danielle, she imagined a world where new hires would not experience the sense of isolation she felt as the only black woman at her tech company for over a year. She helped transform recruiting at that company. She helped found their inclusion team, and now she leads their inclusion work globally. Our fellow Aida, she assured her peers that you might be the first community college student that they hire, but you will not be the last. And our fellow Shanice, she imagined a school that was founded on culturally responsive teaching. Today, that school exists, and Shanice is its principal. So I think our fellows, our fellows help us dream better and bigger dreams every day. And uh, you know, I think they remind us that business as usual is not something anyone wants to go back to. You know, I think business as usual is more CEOs named James than all women CEOs put together. And if your name is James, you're still part of our movement. Um, but that's business as usual. So let's talk about what's unusual. It's unusual to have a college where first-generation college students graduate at the same rate as their peers. It's unusual for low-income students to complete competitive internships. It's unusual to have gender parity in our boardrooms or racially diverse executive teams. So I think at a time of extreme change, our goal should be to change even more. I think we should pick up the pace. I think we should move from words to action to providing jobs and internships and career pathways to supporting mentorship, providing guidance, providing programming. I think we need to transform our companies from the inside out and we need to invest in our communities today. And I think our fellows, our students, are our partners, and there are co-conspirators in building that new future. We need them, America needs them, America needs all of you too. It really needs all of us to be this change, to embrace this future and to be unusual. So I want to thank you all for being here tonight and for being a part of our mission. We really couldn't do this work without you. We will now hear a few words from our moderator.
Good evening, everyone, and thank you so 